Well, today on this episode of Solomon's Garage, I got this 14 foot John boat here in the shop. I never have even painted a boat. You know, it can't be that hard, but you know what? This thing looks a little bit bigger once I got it in the shop than when I first looked at it. When I first saw it, this thing had three layers of paint on it. So I told him, you know, best thing to probably do, probably get this thing blasted. So he set it off, had it blasted. Now it's nice and clean. Got a nice surface on it here, you know, texture wise for the paint to bite in good. Let's start off by painting the inside first, so I don't have to, you know, it'd just be too hard to paint this thing all at once. So what I'm going to do is mask off the sides here, paint the inside like I said. And about a week later, after it dries real good, I'm going to flip it over and do, a, do the outside here. So uh, first thing I guess I need to do on this thing is, I'm going to mask it off and get spraying it. So stay tuned. Alright, I'll kind of walk around here, kind of show you what it is. Um... He had it blasted as I was saying, and it has all these ribs inside here in it. And it had tons of sand down in them, and this dirt and stuff from over the years. And I had to blow and blow and blow. I finally got it all clean, kept blowing and vacuuming, stuff like that. But now it's nice and clean. I went ahead and seam sealed the inside here. Had a seam seal up here in the front, as you can see, I got new gray seam sealer there. And I did the same thing back here in the back. You know, just make sure the thing don't leak any or nothing like that. I'll have to seam seal the outside when I get around to painting it. So here it is. So let's get masking this thing off and shooting some paint on it. All right, first thing first, what I'm gonna do is, there's a seam here where this top, you know, rolls over, it's been riveted on. I'm just gonna put some tape right under that because when I paint this thing on the inside, I'm gonna paint this top lip first. So whenever I flip it over, I don't have to worry about getting paint on it. I can actually set it on this, so anyhow. Let's get putting some tape on here. I'll just droop some paper over. Real simple, just go around the whole thing. And that's about it. And then we'll just get shooting it. Got the boat all masked off here as you can see went around all the edges here same thing here on the other side so yeah i got some epoxy primer mixed up let's get shooting that on there all right i have no clue how this is going to go because i want to bend down on this thing and spray it so just bear with me let's see what happens and let's go from there so let's get to it see things behind me here I did my best at spraying this thing this thing was tough to spray it's got all those little ribs and you know just all that uh those little like tray looking things on the side and stuff it is just tough to get into but here I'll show you how it's drying here it uh don't look too bad come out a little better than I was hoping it would um you can see some areas are a little bit darker than others more shinier I guess on the camera it's just where I got it on a little bit thicker but hey, it's just a primer. I'm probably going to let this stuff flash off overnight because I like to let this stuff set, you know, a good little while. You know, then, because you got to think on this epoxy primer and use it up to three days before you have to sand it and you can paint right over it. So I'm going to be putting that Dove Gray on top of it tomorrow. It's like a satin kind of flat finish. 
So I'm going to do that tomorrow and we'll get this inside painted that I can move on to the bottom of it later. Okay, it's been overnight. Got the bolts set here as you can see. Got the uh, epoxy, it's all flashed off real good. So let's get some of this dove gray mixed up and shoot her on there. I don't know how this is gonna go. Paint inside of all this here, you know, reaching down in here. And I just don't know how it's gonna turn out. So there's only way to find out, let's do it. All right, I got this dove gray here. Like I was saying, it's this custom shop brand, Hot Rods Flat brand here, if you can see it there. So let's give this a shot and see how it works out. I have no clue. Like I said, it's the first time I use this stuff. So let's just see how it goes. Just got the first coat on there it's flashing off I had to go around all these little stupid uh, bracing and stuff here as I'll show you you can see it's kind of wetter in some areas and others like around the bracing and stuff but hey let's let this flash off it's looking pretty good I kind of like the color it looks a little more lighter in person than it does on the camera but hey I think it'll look great once it's all painted put back together and stuff so here it is here. So let's let this flash off for about 10 more minutes and then I'm going to shoot the last coat on it and we'll let her dry. Okay, I just got done with the thing. I realized about halfway through that I forgot to turn the camera on when I went over to put more paint in my gun. So anyhow, so that's why it starts about halfway through with this, you know, part right here. So here's the bolt here. It, uh, it's drying right now. Actually laid out pretty good, as you can see. It's kind of got that satin flat look to it. It's going to dull back a little bit more, I'm sure. It's still wet. You know, I don't have a whole lot of airflow here in the garage. I already turned the fan off, try to keep some of the heat in here. So here it is here. But hey, it turned out a whole lot better than I expected it to on the inside. Um, <clears throat> this paint, I'm pretty impressed with it. It covered really well. And uh, it's that Hot Rod Flats. And I think it's by that custom shop, what I, it said on there. But here it is here. So I'm gonna let this dry real good for about a week. And I'll be back to do the top side so I can flip it over.
All right, well, it's been a week later. Got the boat flipped over, the paint dried nice and good on the inside. I'll show you here what I got going on here for the boat for today before I start spraying it. Here it is here, as you can see. Got it laying upside down. Put it on some like pallets I had laying around just from stuff. And uh, got it up off the floor a little bit. It'd been too high to put it on those racks that I have. But anyhow, here it is here. Got it all blown off best I can. I went around and I don't know if you can see it very well, not by wound seam sealed all these edges and cracks on the you know side. Same thing back here on the back, all the way around, and the same thing on the front. See, I got it all masked off around the edges there, nice and good. I've taped it all around the floor here, so you know when the overspray gets up in the uh, inside part of it that I've already painted. I don't want to be redoing it. So today I'm going to spray some epoxy primer on. Tomorrow I'll come back and spray the color and I'll be done with this thing. But I also got to paint these little pieces here. He's got them. I don't know really where they go on the boat somewhere. Got these two right here. And there's a something hanging up over there. But let's get to it. sprayed I thought I had enough epoxy but I didn't luckily I had a different brand laying around it's black as you can see it's a little more shinier here but you know what it'll still work it's just a different brand so I have to let it dry overnight come back tomorrow we're gonna spray the uh, gray on top of it and be done as you can see I had a little bit of accident here got a bunch of paint on me but anyhow uh, once I just dry we'll go from there all right it's been overnight Epoxy's dried nice and good as you can see. Had a few spots I need to kind of do some nibbing on. I saw that need to be addressed. Got that done. So I got some gray mixed up now. Let's get shooting this thing and be done with it. Just takes a while to spray that big of area. But hey, let's get this last coat on it and we'll be done. I got those other small pieces sprayed there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, let's get this done.
right, just got done spraying this thing. You probably can see the stupid respirator marks on my face. I look funny, but here it is behind me. As you can see, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'll walk you around here and show you kind of what, uh, you know, what it looks like. Here it is here. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with this uh, hot rod flat paint. Flats, I think how you say it. But uh, lays down really good. Got that nice like satin kind of flat look finish. It's more like a matte kind of finish. But I really like it. Lays down good. Dries really good. Uh, where I painted the inside of it last week, it hardened up really nice. Had no complaints about it at all whatsoever. But here it is here. And uh, so like I said, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Who knows what I'll get into next.